Today is a special time to gather and bear witness, a time to celebrate, a time to bring friends and family together for this special occasion of joining these two wonderful people in marriage. Kendra, you are the person I look up to whenever I need guidance. You're the one that has been the most loving and caring person I have ever met, always thinking of others, but especially me. I love your sharp wit and willingness to go on adventures and try new things with me. Like the time we wandered into the Harbor Town Golf Club and you got complimentary Reese's Cups. It may have been something small, but the happiness you got made an impression on me that told me I would love you forever. That's what I love about you is your happiness with little things. I vow to keep doing the little things every day to make you happy. Now let's keep this moving. And Kendra states to Ryan as follows. Ryan, when I first got to know you, I thought you were perfect and I fell in love with you. As time went on, I realized you were not perfect and fell even more in love with you. Our quiet kind of love is what makes our relationship so special. The way you show me how much you love me and the little things you do for me every day, I promise to keep sharing laughs with you through our days together and even the hard ones. I promise to keep exploring new places with you and trying new things. Your genuine passion for happy and fulfilling life involving your family, career, friends, and me is one of the qualities I admire about you most. Whatever we do in the future, I can't wait to be doing it with you. are gathered here in the presence of these witnesses to join this man and this woman in marriage. I charge you both to remember that the love and loyalty alone provide the foundation of a happy home. <music> to you, Ryan, do you take Kendra D. Lee to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, in riches and in poverty, and forsaking all others, keep you only to her so long as you both shall live? I do. And to you, Kendra Lee, do you take Ryan Donnelly to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and health and riches and in poverty, and forsaking all others, keep you only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I don't actually remember the first day I met Kendra because she always has just feels like she's been in my life. But I do remember the first day that I did meet her. Ryan did ask me, what did you think? And I went, she seems nice. She's too pretty for you. Kendra and I hit it off right from the get-go. We road tripped with him that first year to go visit Ryan in Cleveland, which is something I don't usually do with most people.
best thing, Kendra. You always challenge each other to be your very best. I hope this day is everything you two have wished for and waited for it to be. I wish you nothing but a lifetime of happiness and love. Congratulations, and I love you both so much. I want to wish you guys all the success. You two have worked your asses off to get to this place in your life, and you guys have been such a great team for each other that you I don't know if you would be where you're at in your lives if without each other. If you guys have children in the future, I will promise to be there to be the best uncle because I'm the only one they got. And lastly, I want to wish you guys a lifetime of love and happiness. Kendra, I am so glad for 4-H bringing us together. You have been the biggest blessings in my life. We went from being two shy little girls to the best of friends. Even though we both grew up as the only child, we always had a sister and the other. Kendra and I have shared many life experiences. We were always so competitive during showmanship, but always there to help each other when needed. I began to hear the name Ryan come up more and more in our conversation. At that point, I knew this was someone who had stolen her heart because she doesn't talk this way about just anybody. Ryan, you have one hell of a wife, which I'm sure you already know. You make Kendra so happy and that is all I could ever ask for. So if Kendra can put up with Ryan's stubborn ass, and if Ryan can put up with Kendra running late to everything, I think you guys can make it work. So let's raise our glasses to my brother and my new sister, who I have a lot of catching up on playing Barbies with. To a lifetime of happiness, you two.